hello everyone welcome to our new video so today in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create CV with a picture so we are making this video on demand of the viewers so we created the video previously regarding how you can generate this CV so in the in that video we haven't showed how you can add the picture as well so in this in this video I'm showing you how you can add the picture as well so first of all we have to type the prompt okay so let's type it I already had a prompt um, so I just copied it and just going and paste it over here so here's the prompt and enter so what I'm saying today to AI Hey, I write a latex code to make a CV for a software developer that has five years of experience from 2017 to 2022 in three different companies and did this and did his graduation from ABC University in 2026, 2016, sorry. Make the CV double column with pictures on the top of the left smaller column. Make the CV appropriate for the software developer job make the cv colorful so this is the prompt so um, now once we enter the ai will start generating the uh, code for us we're going to be using this code and we're going to be where we're going to be pasting it everyone should know it now it's overleaf so overleaf is really easy so what you have to do you just have to go on google search for the overleaf and you can easily make account on it by your gmail account and it's totally free you don't have to pay any of the dollars okay so uh, you just need the gmail account that's all or any other email address okay so let's wait for the code to be completed okay So now we have to, because the code is not completed, we have to give the another prompt, we have to type. So I'm saying, please, please, come, please continue the code from, from where you stopped. Okay, so here's the code now, and um, okay, so don't worry about the black thingy, okay? Um, so they're, they're been reading the code for us now. We're gonna be copying this from here, okay? Let's wait. So sometimes it take a bit like a seconds, but sometimes it take a bit longer. It depends on how much information you are providing to the ChatGPT and how much information you need ChatGPT to generate for you. Okay, so that's why it's take a bit longer. So but let's wait. I think it's almost going to finish and finally done. So the code is done. Now what we have to do next? We just have to copy the first part. Okay, copy this. Go on to the overleaf. So here's the overleaf. We can paste the code. Okay. Then go back again. Copy the rest of the code. Okay. So remember, you always have to copy till end document. Okay. Copy. Go back to the overleaf. Paste the code. And boom. So here is the code. Now, what we have to do. Okay, so let's just recompile it first. Okay, so here's the CV. Okay, so there's no picture now. So what do we have to do for the picture? So you have to get the picture and drag it and put on this side. Okay, once you've done it, and then you have to. So what is the what they're saying? Profile picture dot gpg. So png. 
PG and so here's the thingy you have to what you have to you have to cut this okay and what's the name of the file it's main.png just put over here main.png and again recompile it and boom here's the CV with a picture okay so how you can download it just go on the download chip and Boom, we got the really good CV and um, so it's all depends how kind of information how much information you need on your CV and you can go and uh, edit it you can go on the words and Microsoft Word and edit your your information and you have to recheck it okay so this was just a um, example so it's I wish it helped you and please subscribe our channel share with your friends and your colleagues your family and please share the knowledge with others as well okay take care of yourself bye bye